pretty good. How's it going? Do you know these people? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Where are they? All my family members. Really? Yeah, Come here. Let me see. Cousin, 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 cousin. You, you got to come here, though. Family, cousin, and children. I think they want to. They want to take a look at you. You see right there. Second, you're the second square. <laughs> oh, oh, wave bye to them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I was green anyway. So, <laughs> so, you're, so you're the reason behind this all. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think we're yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for one time, I'm going to take this off and just keep the, the six feet. Okay. The uh, one time that I, I'm not calling you for help, um, and the one time that I actually get to uh, say thank you uh, for everything for so many years, but not only personally, but during this pandemic, you have um, helped to transition the city into an uh, operation system that we were not prepared for. Uh, the telly of everything that we're doing right now comes back to you and the ability to do this. And you poured your heart and soul into this. And it was very easy as we started to talk, who should we, honor this month as the employee of the month that it was you. Uh, I'm going to ask your director to come up to say a couple words and then I'm going to, to read this. Uh, I have yeah, to, it's going to be good. I, I have to apologize. <laughs> we can't get the trophy or the, the, the plaque yet because the trophy shop is not an essential <laughs> service. So with the green light, it will be reopening. Uh, director? Sure. So, and then you want to let the family know the uh, assistant and deputy director that are here as well. Sure, yes. I'll do the same thing. Um, so it's a great honor and a privilege to be able to um, celebrate Dana and the great work that he's been doing. Uh, we have here with us in the room Heidi Norman, the deputy director of the department, and Gwen Moore, the assistant director of technology for the Department of Innovation and Performance. And um, I think that on behalf of everyone in the department, thank you for your leadership and everything that you and your team have done. I think that uh, we, you and I have spent a number of times talking at 11 p.m. or 12 in the morning, uh, thinking about how to deploy uh, computers and cell phones and how so that we're going to get departments going and you demonstrate the servant leadership and the inspiration to your team and and you're you're the backbone of your team and an important part of the city and of the department and I'm really proud to work with you and really proud to be able to share and, and, and have the mayor celebrate you and, and the city acknowledge your work. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let me do my my duties uh, before I do. Uh, Dana, I just want to say thank you. Uh, like I said earlier, that our working relationship goes back to the days back in city council. Uh, and the, it is such an honor with this administration to be able to see you promoted into the leadership role. And we all are looking forward to seeing that continue. We don't want to lose you. We want to be able to uh, work with you and to rebuild the city's operating systems with your help. Thank you. I appreciate you, Mr. Mayor. Whereas Dana Robinson's roots run deep on Pittsburgh's north side, where he was born and raised, he attended St. Matthew's Lutheran Elementary and went on to graduate from Perry Traditional Academy. And whereas Mr. Robinson comes from a long line of civil servants, his grandmother, having worked for the Allegheny County Prothonotary's office, his grandfather was the first man hired as a Pittsburgh school crossing guard. His mother worked in the former Department of Personnel, and his sister works in the office of the city clerk. Whereas Mr. Robinson learned many of his IT skills from his grandfather, who would take him to computer conventions and taught him how to build and rebuild computers. This simple quality time led to a lifelong career in technological services. 
And whereas Mr. Robinson first started working for the city of Pittsburgh in 1996, before briefly moving to Brooklyn and returned to the city of Pittsburgh 2013 as a network analyst one and working his way up to manager. And whereas he and his team developed the first standard operating procedures for the service desk. His team responds to over 15,000 requests for IT services through phone and email. Mr. Robinson led the transition of the service desk to a new cloud-based call center system to allow users to contact the service desk while the service desk works from home. And whereas when the COVID-19 pandemic hit Pittsburgh and we were forced to make drastic changes to our operations, Mr. Robinson and the team led the enablement of hundreds of users to work remotely in less than two weeks. A remarkable feat. And whereas Mr. Robinson has become a beloved member of the Department of Innovation and Performance team, his hard work and dedication is recognized as the gold standard. His fellow employees say that when it comes to customer service, they are told, be like Dana. <laughs> and whereas, above all, Mr. Robinson is a man dedicated to his family and faith. He is a proud father of Caleb, Rachel, Amira, and Judah and works each day with them on the importance of family and serving one's community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, William Peduto, Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh, commend Dana Robinson for his tireless work on behalf of the people of the City of Pittsburgh, awarding him the Mayor Sophie Masloff Employee of the Month Award for May 2020. Furthermore, declaring May 29, 2020 is Dana Robinson Day here in our most livable city of Pittsburgh. Yay. Well, Thank you to hear. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How's the family doing? All right. All right. Um, I'll be honest, man, they, they got me good. <laughs> I thought I was coming in to set up for a conference. Um, I should have known better. Um, but I, I, I had no idea. Um, I'm kind of speechless right now. I'm kind of lost for words. Um, but I want to thank everybody in the room. Um, May Peduto, I, Glenn, Santi, James, uh, you know, my staff um, for, for, you know, answering the call of duty, coming to, uh, let me take this off, coming, coming uh, stepping up, you know, doing the work um, and, you know, making it, making it easy for me as a boss, as a manager. Uh, I thank you guys a lot. I want to thank, you know, my staff, um, thank everybody that works in the IMP. I mean, every single person that adds to what our team is, they make it easy for, for me to do what I do. Um, you know, call on them, they answer the call also. Um, thank you for the citizens um, of the city of Pittsburgh. Just, you know, coming, coming from where we come from, right? It's, uh, it's always been, you know, down on the field. It's always been people being there for one another, you know, and, uh, you know, most importantly, man, I, I want to thank my family, you know, for every single person in my family, man. There's, there's a lot of you guys on here tonight, there's too many to name, but, you know, um, I, I thank you guys, man. I love you guys dearly for, uh, for always being there for me, giving me the hard talk when I needed it, um, allowing me to lean on you when things got tough for me, and, you know, vice versa, being there for each other. I mean, since since I was a child up into being a man now. Thank you guys for, for everything, for my life, you know. Um, also, most importantly, I want to thank God and, and my faith in him and my faith in Jesus and, and allowing that to also 
be a guide for me in my life and everything I do. Um, it just, I, I can't say thank you enough. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still trying to process everything that's going on right now. <laughs> but uh, thank you, thank you everybody, man. Thank you guys. So I have to ask you, when you came in and you saw the screen, who was it that you saw and you're like, why are you on the screen? <laughs> Honestly, the first person I saw, I saw my cousin John. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like, you know, say like, a, like, a, like a project, like a CD project or something he was working on. Then I seen my cousin Sean, then I seen my cousin Seal. <laughs> then when I, I seen Kenya, I, actually I seen my children last, so I, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I seen you last, so I was, I was like, wait a minute. And it still didn't dawn on me. I was just, <laughs> yeah, they caught me off the screen. I love you guys. I love you guys too, man, for you know, providing me the opportunity to uh, showcase leadership. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's still, it's still a learning process for me. You know, and I, but I think that's the beauty of it. You know, you allow me to, to learn. You know, there's good times and rough times, but allow me to, you know what I'm saying, to grow and to develop. Can't thank you enough. We're doing it together. Yeah. Thank you. Just to love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> A message to the family. I don't even know if I'm out oh, there. I'm in there. Um, thanks for sharing him. Uh, thanks for sharing him, not only with the, uh, the family that he has here, within the city of Pittsburgh government, but with the people of the city of Pittsburgh. I hope you understand how instrumental his work has been in helping us to be able to provide services through an emergency. Uh, but there's another whole part of it that I think each of you know. Uh, well, I had a meeting today with my entire staff of this hallway, and you know, just to see their faces, and you get to work with people, and if you like people, you miss them. And uh, I told them, because Dana worked so closely with all of us, uh, that he was going to be the employee of the month. And every one of them, they just smile. Uh, because he has that energy that he brings that is something that makes you smile. Uh, he's just a good guy. And uh, not to take away from the professional part that we rely upon him about, but the nice part about just when you're around him, he makes, makes it better for everyone that he works with to be at work uh, is such a critical part. And I appreciate that you shared him with us. Uh, to all the cousins and everyone else, hopefully now with the governor's green, everyone can get back and family picnics will start again. So hopefully Dana will have a chance to see you and uh, be carrying around his plaque at that point. And finally, Dana, uh, is it is Dana Robinson Day in the city of Pittsburgh, you don't have to pay any of the meters. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. That's important. Nice. Love you guys. Thank you, Mom. She's, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that, that she's, she started my career, you know, in the city, you know, seeing watching her out. I've been in City Hall since I was five, six, well, maybe younger, you know what I mean? Just, you know, watching the way that she was treated and the way that she demanded respect and, you know, and uh, just her knowledge of everything and, and being dedicated to discipline that she brought every day in and out. I mean, it was like, I never seen a day off with that lady, <laughs> you know, even at home, I mean, you know what I'm saying? My sister can attest to that, I've never seen a day off. Never, never showed us, you know, a, a bad way, you know what I mean? Always treated us with respect and love and dignity every single day of my life. You know what I mean? So, love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. He gonna cry in the car. <laughs>